Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a vanity clear out and I'm so excited because I have been needing to clean out my drawers, get things organized, get rid of some stuff. So I'm excited to take you guys along with me as I declutter, do some satisfying cleaning and all that. I also have some more storage. So I'm really excited about that. I do have a ring light that is there and I do move it when I need to take it elsewhere into the house. So this is what we're working with. This is my desk and it's from Target. I love it and it's beautiful but the drawers are really small so they're not deep at all. I had trouble with this when I first got it but I made it functional and I do have some tabletop organizers right there, my mirror. I have this bin that holds some palettes and some lip products. And this is actually the box that I've been living out of for the past couple of months, probably four months, because my husband was working nights. So I put all of my favorite things in this box. But now that that is over, I want to redo this. I wanna clean out all of that and go through and just get rid of some stuff. Like there's not too much back there, but definitely wanna investigate. If you've been here for a while, you know that I have had Alex drawers as a desk, but now I have it for storage over here because we took it out of the living room. So now I have all these drawers. There's my little anime guy. I already have some palettes in here, but there is so much space. I have, yes, my elf ears. So I want to go through and just organize this. I do have my nail polish stuff in here already, so yeah, this is gonna be all of my beauty stuff. I just gotta go through and clean it. First thing I'm gonna do is just take everything out of these drawers. Thankfully, this is one big unit, so that's easy. I'm going to vacuum out the dust first and then spray everything down. So I'm now sitting on my floor. I have all my makeup in front of me. Well, not all of it, a good amount. I am going to go through and start throwing things away. This declutter is going to be a bit more intense, hopefully, because I don't wanna keep stuff for that just in case moment. I am getting tired of thinking that way and keeping things that I don't use like not even every quarter, like every three months. I want to feel lighter and I'm just getting over having so much stuff. For the eye stuff, I feel like this is a lot more difficult for me to part with because they're more creative things, whereas complexion products, I feel like I know right away if I'm going to like something or not and if I'm using it. But for eyes, it's stuff like this, this shimmery blue eyeliner. It's this kind of stuff that I keep just in case and I need to stop. So that's the first thing that I'm getting rid of. I already know these two Becca liquid highlighters. I hardly use them, they're very old, so I can toss these. These Stila Glitter and Glows, I know that these four are new. They still have a lot of pigment and product in there. This e.l.f. one is also really good, but these tiny ones, I have to go through and see which ones don't have any product because they were starting to dry up. It's the glitter ones that are basically dry, I think. Yeah. I still have an Etude House Tint Me Brows. I use this sometimes. My Hourglass things, love these so much. I have my brow powders, gonna keep those. This I use if I want to do soap brows, it's very old, but I still do use it. Eyelash primers, there's still a lot in there. This Marc Jacobs highlighter I'm going to keep because I think this is my only liquid highlighter. Oh man, here we have Dip Brow. I think I'm going to toss this because I never use it. There are some tools that I need. So 
So these are all of the eyeliners that I have here. I'm gonna take out the ones that I know I definitely use. So there's this gray, this purple, this black. I used to use this for freckles, but I actually have a freckle thing now. Okay, so we have some purples and some blues. This is so dried out, oh my gosh. And then I have these two purples. I'll keep this one though. And this NYX Wonder Pencil, never use that. Oh my God, this one's dry. And here we have some single shadows. I have this paint pot in Painterly. I'm gonna keep that and actually get rid of the Anastasia eye primer because it's a bit weird. It's very white and I don't like that. Here are some eyeliners from ColourPop that I've had for a very long time. I'm not going to use this brown, I know that. This red one, mm. <laughs> these four I've had forever. These NYX Roll On Shimmers, and I don't need them. Honestly, I have other things. I do have a black gel eyeliner. I completely forgot. I was actually wondering if I had one and I got sad that I didn't, so I do have one. But these single eyeshadows, I never use them. I'm not going to miss it, that's the thing. Here I have two lip drawers that um, do make me a little sad because I don't really wear too many lip products. I've found what I like and right now we're not really wearing lip products because we're all wearing masks so I feel like it's not the right time to declutter but I'm still going to go through and get rid of some stuff because it's just not the right color. It doesn't work. I have too much, too many of them. First off are these. I'm just gonna toss these because they're not for me. Same with this. They're all like a mauve shade. I just don't like it on myself. These Kat Von D colors, I'm gonna go through and just get rid of stuff that I don't, I don't need. This is almost done, so I'm just gonna keep that. Hopefully I'll use it up. I think that's a pretty good amount to get rid of. If you haven't seen my last one, I have a bunch of palettes and things that I decided to keep and I um, haven't gotten rid of some of them. They've been in here in this picnic basket that I got from FabFitFun and I need to go through and just toss it. I feel like I should also just toss these sponges because I don't really use sponges. It's not my thing. The palettes I'm talking about are these bad habit palettes and I do like some of them. I think I'm going to keep this one. That is the Retro Love, but these two? I'm not sure if I'm ready to part with this palette. Carly Bible, I just don't use it. Naked Smoky Palette, I'm sorry, but she is just not my thing, you know? I have this bag full of lashes. Do I wear lashes? Not really, so I have to go through and just these are the palettes that i'm keeping in my storage I should probably hydrate i'm not gonna lie to you i've reached the stage where i'm feeling a bit overwhelmed i'm very happy with the progress as far as getting rid of stuff i just have to put in the trash and now start putting stuff back which is going to be a little fun i have to see if i have like the correct dividers for this system. I mean, this isn't anything new because I used to have all my makeup in here. I'm finally done. It took a while. I was a little stressed, but I did it. Everything is put away. So this is everything. A lot of stuff I've collected over my 20s I've had a hard time parting ways with. It's probably all expired to be honest. I really am trying to not buy as much. I've been like that for years. So I'm pretty proud of this declutter and I'm really excited to show you guys what my makeup vanity looks like now. Here is the new setup. I just have my makeup brush holder, my lip glosses and lip products and some miscellaneous little palettes because they're adorable and I like to use those as often as I can. That I keep up there for a washcloth. And then we have the ring light. I actually wrapped the base in this white cardstock to hide it. Hello. This drawer to the left has mostly face products, some eyebrow stuff, and yeah, just one palette back there. This drawer has mostly face products. As you can see, it has eyebrow stuff, some powders and contour blushes, and one palette. 
and this is empty. I didn't know if I was gonna put anything in there. And in here we have tools, Q-tips, all my eyeliners, mascara, and my favorite hourglass single eyeshadows, a pair of false lashes. And this is all like backups of mascaras and eyeliners that I have that are brand new. And then I have my one little fun size palette. I had palettes here, but I decided not to put them there. So lots of space. I was going to move this out of the bedroom, but I decided to keep it. So I have all of these sprays. These were actually in the drawers. This was all in the left one. This was all in the right one, but I decided to keep them out because I actually like this. It's functional. The tissue box is out of the way. And I put this cute little fake plant over there. Very cute. I love these little balls they have on there. And this is empty. I was going to put the washcloth there. I still might and move the cauldron off of the desk just so everything is nice and bright and clear. So this is all foundation. I don't wear foundation a lot so I put it all there. I have some powders. I have my liquid eyeshadows powders so they're really easily accessible right in the front. I have single eyeshadows right over here, some blushes and things for soap brows and some face primers. And then back there I have some extra stuff that I either wanna save for a YouTube video or just backups. The second drawer is all nail stuff. And here is my UV lamp with the polishes for that. And this is just regular nail stuff and all my nail polish. And the third drawer down has extra palettes and smaller palettes, lotion, hand sanitizer spray, small palettes. These are all the lashes and my lancets and tweezers. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching me declutter and get rid of a bunch of stuff. I feel so much better. I feel like I'm letting go again, like a reference to me turning 30, like letting go of all this stuff that I wanted to represent me, but it doesn't. And I've moved on from certain styles and certain kinds of products. And I really know what I like. And I think that definitely leads me to buying less and just, feeling more excited about the things that I do decide to bring into my life. I don't like having a bunch of stuff. I think my brand is definitely like curating what you bring in. I'm having a very hard time with this outro right now. I don't know what's happening. So anyway, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. The usual, if you're new, please subscribe, hit the bell if you like this type of content. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.